What's up, everybody? Guys, we are so excited. We just got to Cozumel, Mexico. <laughs> we have something very fun that we planned today that we haven't done in, I don't know, a year, two years? Guys, it's been a little time. while. It's been, it's been a, little, a while. little bit over a year. The last time we did this was just up the coast on the other yes. side of this bay here. Not very far away. In Cancun. We're stoked to do it in Cozumel, though. We hear the water is beautiful. That's a hint. Hint, hint, hint. We're extremely excited about this, guys. I have a new little toy I'm taking down below with us this time scuba diving. Actually, a couple new things. I have the GoPro Hero 10. I have the waterproof scuba housing. And I got a really long pole. So it's gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a different experience down there. I honestly don't know where we're scuba diving yet. Princess hooked us up with this excursion, but I have no idea where it's going. All I know is we're diving, we have two tanks, and it's gonna be epic, so. It better be epic. We're excited, here we go. Let's do it. Got my beach towels ready for scuba. <laughs> scuba Steve behind the camera here. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one of my favorite parts of the day is just getting off the ship and then seeing it from not being on the ship. It's so massive, it's so cool. I just love it, look at it back there. Just look at it. Just look at it. That's our boat coming right now, the white one there. Let's go.
Alright guys, this one is mine. This one is shells. These are our BCDs. These help you float and stay buoyant when you're underwater. You can fill them up with air. We also got our weight belts down here. These help you sink down and then these help you get that neutral buoyancy so you can float nice and flat down at the bottom of the ocean. Shell's gauge reads just about 85, 86 feet. Mine reads right at 80. So she went about six feet deeper than I did at some point during that dive. Pretty awesome, guys. The gear is so cool. We didn't bring our master fins or anything on this trip because we tried to do just carry on, so we didn't have any room. The dive boat had everything for us. The mask worked great. I used a little silicone right here. That was epic. Let's get top side and see what Shell thought about it. We just finished dive number one. We're in route to the location of dive number two. And if it's anywhere as beautiful as dive number one, I'm going to love it because that was so beautiful. We did a reef dive where we just swam through all this cool coral reef. There was like tight little spots and openings where you have to single file swim through. Oh, it was amazing. It was so beautiful. That first spot we just did was called Balancar Garden or Balancar Jardines. Say it again. Balancar Jardines. <laughs> and it was cool. First we descended onto the sandy area and then we went down into all the cool coral and reefs. The water is beautiful here. Like, it's that was so, so beautiful. beautiful. Comment down below. Let me know if you like that long pole down there. I thought that was pretty awesome. It worked <laughs> you like so that? good. I loved it. I was able to get a nice long reach, get some good shots for you guys. Hopefully, obviously I haven't seen it yet, but I'm betting it's going to be pretty dope. Anyway, we're kind of cruising, like Shell said, back up the coast towards the cruise ship. We have one more dive. When you book one of these things, they almost always come with two tanks, two dives. We're going to be jumping back in here in a second and checking out a new spot here in Cosmo. Just finished up the second dive. We want to tell you all about it, but first we have to find some food. Yeah, we're starving, but just rest assured, it was incredible. All right, tacos, here we go. Found a pretty okay place to eat right now. What do you think, babe? It's kind of like average. What? <laughs> this is unreal. I think the main reason that Daniel chose this restaurant and this table is so that he could keep an eye on the ship to make sure that it doesn't leave us. <laughs> I remember on our honeymoon, Daniel was very, very afraid. Was our honeymoon your first cruise? Honeymoon, no, first cruise, yeah. Our honeymoon was Daniel's first cruise ever, and he was very nervous about going anywhere where he couldn't visually see the ship because <laughs> he was afraid it was going to leave us. I've grown a lot since then. He's grown a lot since then. <laughs> Those look amazing. Grande. Yes. <laughs> Gracias. He 
had the most incredible day scuba diving. We got to do a two tank dive today, which means we got to do two different dives. Both I would say were awesome. We saw some of the most beautiful reef I feel like I've ever seen on the first dive, swimming through it, tiny little like cave areas and tiny little canals that we're like swimming through. And then on the second dive, we saw the most beautiful sea turtle yes. I maybe have ever seen. Something that made it even cooler was the little fishies that were swimming underneath the sea turtle. It was so cool, so incredible. Thank you so much, Princess, for sending us out on a unforgettable dive. And thank you to our incredible tour guide, Mario, for taking good care of us. We had a blast. We had some delicious <laughs> lunch. We had nachos and some tacos, Diet Pepsi, because <laughs> that's all they had. Right on the pier here with a beautiful view of our ship. Now it is time to board the ship. I'm actually kind of sad. I don't really want to leave, honestly. I I think that this place is incredible. But I'm excited to get back on the ship. and We've got a fun night tonight, another incredible dinner. I feel like they've all been incredible. So here we go. Another night here on the beautiful Caribbean Princess. Today, I feel like I say a lot of my days are favorite days, but today might have been my favorite day. Today was awesome. It was hard to beat that scuba diving. We had yeah. the best locations. The dive boat was awesome. Our guides were incredible. It just was a really awesome experience. We just finished up dinner. Another delicious dinner. <laughs> yeah. Left us so full because we over ordered. But guess what? That's what you get to do when you're on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> we walked through a little dance party they're having up over there with all these epic lights. Shell got dancing with some of the crew. Oh yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> She's talented, guys. I know she always comments on how I'm talented. Well, guess what? I don't. I can't dance. I do he not know dancing. how to dance. I don't know how to do it. And Shell is very good at it. And I'm just always dancing. Yes, electric. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think we're gonna try and wind down this evening. Maybe catch a movie, actually, take in a yeah. film. They just set up all these chairs out here. You see the big screen behind me. They play movies on that every night. We got blankets to get cozy. I think we're just gonna wind down right here on the pool deck watching a movie. We're gonna say goodnight and we'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys. Oh!